wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. See? It said wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Meaning the whole earth is infested with you two-third Negro, Latino, and Native American wickedness. Of course we know the heathen's gonna be wicked, starting off with the white man. He's the number one that multiplied evils in the earth as I tell you in the first Maccabees, when Alexander the Creek died. Sorry. See what I'm saying? But it says the whole earth, uh, oh, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. What is part of their hurtful works? This homosexuality that's being pushed on a worldwide scale. That's the hurtful works. That's right. What else? The music, the, 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 the TV, the entertainment, those are also hurtful works. Why? Because instead of leading our people astray, to steady commit a whoredoms and sins. And the music industry, what is all talking about? Homosexuality, uh, adultery. Thank you. Everything against the most high. See, that's the hurtful work. Like bro said, selling drugs. Hell, taking drugs. Everybody talking about what? Popping mollies. Smoking weed. See what I'm saying? Now they got a new amphetamine out. There you go. It's called a super crack. <laughs> you know, it's for, like bro said, it's supposed to give you superhuman strength. You know what I'm saying? Right. How you doing, bro? Hey, how you doing? All right. First aid? Yeah, Verse 8, I will hold my tongue no more. See, the Lord is not going to hold his tongue no more. Right. He's going to start putting you Negroes to death. Why? Because he's tired of your wickedness. That's right. That's right. You want to run around and look like the heathen with a mohawk? Do you know what a mohawk go back to? They go back to the Roman centurion. That's what you look like as a Roman centurion. And the Lord is going to put you to death if you don't change your way. Instead of walking around looking like a simple Negro. It's time out for all the plan. That's right. The Lord said he's not going to hold his tongue no more. That's right. Go ahead, bro. I will, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. See? He's not going to hold back his tongue no more as touching y'all wickedness. Meaning what? He's going to start exposing a lot of you people for your wickedness. He's going to put you to death for your wickedness. Go ahead, Which bro. they profanely commit. See? Which y'all profanely commit. What does profane mean? Outside the temple. Outside the temple of what? The Heavenly Father and the Son, meaning His Word. All the wickedness you do is outside the Word of the Heavenly Father and the Son. You how about she me I was shot? That's why you're going to start putting you out of death, man. That's right. The Lord said, don't eat pork. Y'all eating pig ear sandwiches and barbecue pork skins. The Lord said, don't commit adultery. That'd be your number one plan to take your homeboy girl. Say what? Well, the Lord going to kill you. Because he said don't eat pork, and you being hard-headed and rebellious, the Lord going to kill you. That's why your mouth twisted now from a stroke, being hard-headed. The Lord is not playing with you folks, man. Right. You think we're going to be up here playing with y'all either? No. We're speaking the Lord's word, and the Lord always showed an example of you stupid Negro Latino Native American. We just got to telling you don't eat pork, and it had to be the nigga woman yell out the window. She didn't say I love the Lord. She said... With a mouth twitching, I got a pork chops. Exactly what she said. You see what I'm saying? That shows you the wicked. That's why the Lord is going to kill you, Negro, Latino, and Native American. Why? Because of your incredulity, meaning what? Your unbelief and your unfaithfulness. Right. Go ahead, bro. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. See, he's not going to suffer you. Meaning what? He's not going to have no pity on you anymore and the wicked things you suffer like that hard-headed nigga woman. I love pork chops. The Lord is going to put her to death and make a choke on a pork chop. Why? Because the Lord said don't eat pork. But you Negroes, you are disobedient and going against what the Lord said. You steady eating pork. That's why you have high blood pressure. Your head about to explode because your blood pressure through the roof. All right. Sad. You got something to say, bro? Let it out, man. Let it out. Let it out. Let it out. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me. See? The innocent and righteous blood. Who is that? You're looking at two of them now. Right. Go on, when we saw one of those men, 
as well as the other 142,000, we are considered as the innocent and righteous. And we're crying out daily to the Heavenly Father to come destroy this place. Why? Because of all the wickedness here. Man, we're tired of being in this sinful kingdom, in this cesspool of, of wickedness, man. Sometimes we pray that the Heavenly Father and the Son just take us out of our sleep, man. That's right. At least we'll be at rest like Job said, man. Go ahead, and the souls of the just complain continually. See? Only a righteous man is going to complain about the wicked. Right. It said the souls, meaning the spirit of the just, complain continually. That's what we do. That's right. And that's what we are here to do is search for the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations, like it say in Ezekiel. Oh, that's a... Uh, that's, that's my boy Will from downtown. He finally found it. There you go. He finally found it. Hey, the Wadi Ha, he from here. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, the Wadi Ha, why shouldn't y'all shot? You know? Because he, he worked uh, downtown at this hotel. He got like a high important position at the hotel. And, you know, I tell him, you know, he had to be discreet sometimes. You know, right. you got to be wise and serve the homeless and dog. You know? Yeah, but like we were saying, uh, what was that thing in row? First. Uh, that was. Yeah, well, neither will I suffer them. I can't do it. Save man. Oh, here we go. The, uh, the behold the innocent and righteous blood. And the souls of the just. Yeah, the souls of the just complain continually. That's verse uh, 8. Then the 8, yeah. Yeah, he coming. <laughs> he said the souls of the just. <laughs> Let me put a smile on my face, man. That's right, man. You know? <laughs> right. You see these smiles. Yeah, man. I get geek when somebody get excited about this, this truth. Man. He been following for the last, I said the last three months, bro. You know, because he was following me down at, uh, down at downtown, you know, off of, uh, what was it, uh, Man, I forgot it. By the Circle Center Mall. Okay. You know. Yeah, you're a good brother, man. You know. Yeah, it said the souls of the righteous complain continually. That's what we out here doing. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You know, we complaining continually about the wickedness that goes on here. And we searching for other brothers like that. Right. Like it tells in Ezekiel 9 and uh, 9 and 4. What's up, bro? You know. <laughs> I saw oh, you at my lunch. I was there. Hey, what's God up, bro? You all right? Bless you, man. Bless oh, you, bro. Bless you, man. Hey, this, this uh, Ashkaya, you know what I'm saying? And that's uh, Will. I, I just call him Will, man. You I know what I'm saying? All right. All right. You, you come around, bro, if you want to. It don't matter, bro. You good, man. You good, bro. How you been, man? All right. How about yourself, man? Thanks to you. One day at a time, man. Hey, it's all through the spirit, man. You know? Hey, this brother from Gary, too, man. Yeah. See? Yeah. <laughs> You know what's crazy? I don't want to disturb you thing, like I said. Oh, you good, bro? Um, it's crazy. I just saw you. I came back. And where you used to be, it's gonna, I ain't trying to start no ish. Oh, it's good, it's good. Somebody posted up in your spot doing the same thing. That's crazy. Who is it? I want to see, you got the same, uh, I don't know, it's a camp, but the, where, you, where I met you, it's the same somebody else right there. That's crazy. Oh, well, see, they going to, see, that's the that's thing. Crazy, the scriptures man. tell you about building upon another man's foundation. That's crazy. See what I'm saying? Now, when we was out there, it's funny they ain't come. We didn't see nobody around there when we was out there. That's crazy. I ain't seen you in how long? <laughs> it's been a while, you know. Yeah, yeah. But this is where I'm at now. You know, I was on Martin Luther King then. We're here now. And the men and the brother thinking about going back downtown for uh, Ohio and Illinois Street. We just got to see if it's, it's, it's like... Free parking or you got to pay down there because if you got to pay, we're going to stay down here because, you know, we don't want nobody. Let's say we got brothers coming from out of town. We don't want them paying no five or six dollars. If you're out there three hours a week, they can come over here and park for free. See what I'm saying? Yeah, that's crazy. I literally went to the car, came this way, breathed, saw you. Bless you both. Hey, that's the wanna, spirit, man. I want to keep you, man. Oh, you good, bro. You, you good, man. Down, man. God bless you, man. Wow. Bless you. We were down in Gary last weekend, you know. What? Teaching what? the truth. Huh? Say what, bro? Yeah, we Israelite. You Israelite, too. Yeah, there you go. 
There you go.